Dallas Mavericks. Great job by the guys today. I, they, I knew this was going to be more of a fight than the last game. I said that in my last video. I think everyone knew that was going to come. Uh, you know, Pop said his guys in the last game kind of gave up, trying to save them for this game. Well, it didn't work. Now, it, it seemed to work because Tony Parker went off again. I think he had, I think he had 31 in the first half, uh, 43 for the game. So you can't fault that guy. That guy, he, he went off on us, and, and he was really the only consistent threat uh, against Dallas. No one else really seemed to show up that much on San Antonio. Now, looking at the Dallas Mavericks side, I, I would not call this a perfect win for Dallas either. Uh, our two, Arguably our two biggest stars, Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Terry, did not have great games. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki only had 12 points, didn't take many shots. The shots that he did take, you usually were off. Jason Terry was hitting shots at first, but that he really kind of he didn't disappear because he kept messing shots and, and turning the ball over. Uh, but the guys really, but but the rest of the guys really st uh, stepped up. Uh, Jason Kidd with the steals, being consistent from outside, and of course his passing ability. Josh Howard really being the leader on this on the team today. Uh, take, not afraid to take it to the basket to get fouled. I think we shot maybe thirty seven free throws today. Um, great job by attacking attacking the defense and making them play defense, right? Because Dallas, a lot of times, we bail teams out by taking jump shots. And we're a great jump shooting team, but you can't live on that in the playoffs. Uh, we started doing that in the third quarter, kind of giving that little. Actually, we started doing that in the second quarter, uh, letting them come back in. Um, and then the guys finally decided to take it to the basket. Uh, J.J. Barea had an okay game today. Uh, but the, really the standout guy today was Ryan Hollins. Ryan Hollins coming off the bench. Uh, great defense on Tim Duncan. Uh, great energy for the guys, and also, you know, the putbacks and everything, you know, um, I, I just felt that, you know, I, I criticized him uh, in against in the Rockets game in the season. I felt he didn't play that great job, do a great job on Yao Ming, uh, but tonight he did a great job on Tim Duncan, and Duncan got his points, uh, but really, for the Spurs, other than Tony, Dun uh, Tony Duncan, Tony Parker and Tim Duncan, uh, they really didn't have any kind of, any consistent scorers. Dallas wins 99-9, uh, a solid win and a 3-1 uh, lead now in the series. So that so let's, let's look ahead to Tuesday. Now, I'm, as I said, me and a couple of my friends will be in the building for that game. Uh, hopefully, you know, that's what I want. I wanted to go to elimination game where we would have a chance to take the Spurs out on their home court. Now, I feel like, I, I, I do feel like if, you know, it, of course it's going to favor San Antonio. They're, they're, Big time desperate to win this game. They're at home. Um, but I don't think it's going to turn into a game, too, if they win the game. Uh, I do think Dallas has find, found more of a rhythm. The role players are really stepping up each game. So I look for I look for Dallas to be a really barn burner uh, going into game five. And I, I, I have faith that Dallas can steal that one and end the series in game five. Um, but that's really going to be difficult. I'm going to have to favor San Antonio in that game. Uh, but I, my prediction was six uh, for Dallas, so it's looking like that it could happen that way. The series isn't over, but it's looking really bleak for San Antonio. And, and so far, uh, the Mavs have really really done a great job. And this is the team I want. I wanted to play the Spurs. I felt that their age would kind of catch up with them. And I felt that there was just – we have so much um, – so many games against them, we, we, we know them so well that they really can't throw anything at us that we don't know is coming. We know that Tony Parker wants to drive to the basket and that he's not too solid shooting outside. Now, he did that today. Today, he started knocking down some outside shots. That got me scared. If that guy can, if that guy can consistently hit shots outside, then we can't stop him. Um, but Pop set him on the, set him on the sidelines, um, brought him in about nine minutes left in the fourth, and he did bring the team back. Uh, at one point in the first half, they went on to 11-2 run to take the lead against us. Um, but Dallas really did really did a great job, and I'm I'm very very excited. Antoine Wright, another guy, uh, went to Texas A&M, so you know, got him props. Um, played well for us. So other than Terry and Dirk, everybody else really stepped up, and that's what you want. If you're too, and that, that's what's great about this team. Um, there's not many guys on that bench that I don't want on that court. Uh, throughout the season, there were times where I didn't. I felt like we just needed our big guys in there, and if we had to bring them in, uh, the bench guys in, we were kind of in trouble. Uh, Berea, I think I think Berea is just a great story. A guy who came in, uh, who was a, really a bottom feeder on this team, has worked his way to the starting lineup, and he's earned every bit of it. Uh, Dirk, as I said, not having a great game. Uh, kept playing hard. He finally, at the end, you know, taking the ball to the basket and getting that layup because shot wasn't falling. And let's hope, and, and I know it's very difficult to do this on the road, but let's hope that our shooting percentage can 
transfer over to San Antonio in a road game. We've won one road game in San Antonio, and I think we can do it again. Dallas Mavericks, 3-1 lead in this series. Looking to close that on Tuesday. I'll be in the building. If you guys are there, give me a shout. And let's go Mavs. They said it couldn't be done. Let's see if we can finish it. See you guys later. Go Cowboys.